And welcome to the first coaches show. I'm Justin Adams here with the head coach of the Regis Rangers. I'm saying the soccer team, Tony McCall. Coach, how you doing? I'm doing well today. Thanks, That's Justin. Right. It's, a, it's a beautiful day to be out here. That's right. It's beautiful. Now, we're here at Regis Match Pitch, where a couple of days ago, your young men took a 2 to nothing victory over Newman University. Talk about that win. We did. It's uh, obviously our first uh, opening game of the season. And uh, we were playing a, a, a very good Newman University team who've, you know, traditionally been strong. They had a good year last year, came in this weekend, and um, they had already played on Friday. So they were, they had the butterflies had uh, gone out of them, and, uh, you know, we were uh, excited to get ourselves off and running. You started off pretty strong at the 42nd minute with a nice goal. We did. You know, I, I think that we, uh, we, we created a lot of good opportunities in the first half. Uh, I thought we maybe could have been um, one or two up by that stage and um, you know it was exciting for Ryan Erweiler who you know was coming back from a career a season and an injury last year in pre-season uh, where he had the red shirt and it was his first game back which was uh, really exciting for, for him. Speaking of somebody else doing some network to, in a sense was uh, Lalo as you like to call him but Eduardo getting the score in the 66th minute. Eduardo uh, scored a, a wonder goal we call it a worldly. Okay. A worldly and uh, you know he came off the bench um, you know hasn't hasn't had a lot of time in pre-season um, but he's, he's, his movement's good he mustn't have touched the ball four times before he got it, and, and I was like, okay, pass it, pass it. He's about 30 yards out, and he just winds up and sticks one in the top corner, and uh, I'm, we're very happy for him. You know, he's worked extremely hard, and, you know, he's an integral part of our group, and um, it was really nice to see him get off the mark. Definitely. And speaking of solid play, talk about your goalkeeper, Chase, doing a great job uh, holding on to the shutout. You know, Chase. Chase is a good keeper. We've got, you know, we've got three keepers that are really battling away there for for that starting position. And uh, you know, Chase has a lot of experience coming out of the DEA and uh, in, in St. Louis with the Scott Gallagher group. And uh, you know, he was at a Division One school prior to coming here and uh, has a lot of experience. So uh, you know, we we like Chase because he's, you know, he's vocal. Uh, he's very good with the ball at his feet. So he, he plays like a field player as well. So that, that gives us a, an additional uh, uh, opportunity to play out of the back and play around the back. Well, speaking of which, going down the road now, two to nothing victory on Sunday. But now you go to this weekend, you have a couple of games in California. Talk about them. We do. We uh, head out to San Francisco where we're playing Humboldt State University on Thursday. And then on uh, Saturday evening, we'll, we'll play uh, Cal State East Bay. Two teams that we haven't played in the past, but, you know, obviously... Uh, you know, two good programs where you know we're we're looking to go out and see a different style of soccer. I think uh, on the West Coast, uh, which which hopefully will give us some confidence and you know expose us to a different type of play before we go into the RMAC, uh, the slate of games that we have there. What do you want your team just to uh, to garner from these games this weekend? Well, I th I think experience. You know, we'll you know we'll go uh, deep into our squad this weekend, and and everybody will get to play. And you know, we want to get minutes for our young guys. All right, coach. We look to hear some great news when you come back from Cali. Justin, thank you so much. All right, that's head coach Tony McCall, the men's soccer team, looking to do some uh, some work down in California. When we return, we'll have a nice opportunity to talk to the women's head coach and talk about their win weekend as well. So. We'll be right back. And welcome back to the Regis Match Pitch on the Coaches Show. Justin Adams as well as women's soccer head coach J.B. Belzer. Coach, how you doing? Justin, thanks for having us today. Doing very well. Good to see you as well. And oh, got to get started about this weekend. 0-1-1. Um, one and one. You had a tie against Midwestern State, a 2-2 two -two, um, decision. And then you had um, a 2-1 to one loss up against Texas Women's uh, University as well. And uh, Coach, got to talk about both games. Let's start off with the one on Thursday. Uh, tell us about that 2-2 game. Well, we were disappointed not to have gone on and won that match, um, but we were very pleased that we didn't concede a third goal and, and lose the match. Mm -hmm. I was very pleased with the team, uh, the resiliency. We, we came from behind twice in that match. You never want to go down, but you always want to have the fortitude to come back. And I was, I was pleased, and I told the girls, hey, you know, well done for, for not packing it in. You, you fought back and you leveled twice. And Texas women's on Sun Saturday uh, was a little more uh, frustrating because we didn't have quite the energy levels that we'd had on Thursday. And we've, we've talked about in preseason taking that next step and always becoming better. Uh, better defending, better finishing, 
um, higher intensity levels, better communication, and we didn't quite do that on Saturday. So it left a little bit of a, of a poor taste in our mouth, and uh, we didn't get the result for it, and so we have to make it better from there. Well, one lady that did show out was uh, Sade Akindeli. Talk about her, her two goals in both of the games and how much that she means to this team. Yeah, you know, Sade is a six-year uh, senior. Um, we've had the conversations in the past. It's, it's really about production, and when Sade dials in and is focused, uh, she can be a great producer, and part of that production is the defensive presence she, she brings at the start uh, to shape the opponent and let us win the ball. Uh, behind her, and so we always are asking her to do that. She's doing it well. Uh, and then can she play other players into the game and create assists and passes that ultimately feed others to score goals? And then finally, can she be a goal scorer herself? And she did that very well on the weekend with a goal in each match. And uh, when she's in form and in rhythm, it helps our team tremendously. And also you have a couple of other young ladies as well within the senior leadership as well. Your goalkeeper, um, Kat, doing very well. But uh, that's a couple of other individuals that you want to see kind of step up within uh, as the season progresses. So. Yeah, you know, I think we need some, some real leadership from our captains, uh, two seniors and a junior, um, Kat Crump in goal, and uh, Mason O'Neill as a right defender and Maggie Saris as a, as a center back. Those three have been selected, our team leaders, our team captains, and uh, it's going to be imperative for them to step up, bring their A game, and help lead us uh, going forward. Uh, cleaner in the back defensively, cleaner in front organizationally, higher communication levels, and it starts there, and it will trickle through and impact the entire squad. We'll talk about the two opponents you have in California. It's a little bit of uh, you continue your non-conference schedule as you go out to uh, um, California. Talk about it. Yeah, it's exciting. Uh, the opportunity to play West Coast schools and the – uh, CCAA, which is a wonderful soccer conference, uh, UCSD on Friday night under the lights uh, there in San Diego, and, and that'll be a, a special fun experience. Good side in UCSD, um, but it'll be about us. It'll be about us uh, doing the right things defensively, our communication, our shape, uh, passing players along at the right moment, and tracking appropriately. Uh, if we do these things, we'll limit their effectiveness. We'll find opportunities in the game to go score our goals and we'll be on the front foot and, and take the game to the opponent. Next weekend will be a success if what happens? Well, you know, in both opponents, UCSD and Cal State San Bernardino, you have quality sides. It'll be slightly contrasting styles of play, um, so it'll be a good test for us to, to go in and be about ourselves, right? I've spoken about our defensive uh, presence improving and our efficiency and our goal scoring improving. And if we can make those steps in those directions and, and we're focusing on the process, when we go do those things that we've trained all week, and we've recognized there's been a, maybe a limitation in our game, and then we, we enhance the things that have been going well, uh, that will be a successful weekend for us. All right, Coach, you're going back to Cali. Give them hell. Justin, thank you very much. I right, appreciate it. And that is women's soccer head coach J.B. Belzer joining us today on the Coaches uh, Show from Regis University. want to say thank you so much for joining us, and we will talk to you next week with a whole lot of victories going on. See you there.